One of those jobs that I find myself trying to do all the time, you know, I, when you're working in a garage by yourself, you're always trying to figure out how can I, how can I do this by myself without somebody to hold the other end of that. When Josh was here, it was quite a treat because I had him to uh, crawl up under the bolt wagon and hold the bolt on the back of the motor while I turned the bolt on the front of the motor. That's quite a luxury for me. But now that he's gone home, I got to figure this stuff out for myself. So. With that said, how can I do that? And if I have that right there, if I get my arm around and up under that hood, I could do that. Let's see how long my arm is. Oh, that's about a foot and a half too short. Okay. So with that said, what's the second best option? What if I duct tape that thing in place? You know duct tape is the cure for everything. And then turn the screw. Let me get some duct tape. I do even better. I get some Gorilla tape. Alrighty now, I'm going to stick this up in here, right where it would go, and I'm going to put this piece of Gorilla Tape on it, like a piece right there, piece right there, man that's going to be hard to do, I if it's doable. Think you can do that? I don't know. Okay, here we are. I finally got smart and went and got my neighbor just to hold one side of it. it. Made a lot more sense than everything else I was trying to do here. See that thing pop? Sounds like the timing's too advanced. Got a little puff. It makes me think the valve's a little bit out of adjustment too, so I'll do all that. I think I'll do that next before I do anything else. As far as my wiring goes, my horn almost beeps. Hear that? Uh -uh. Not quite a beep, but it's trying to. I've got one turn signal and one running light on the back that work. <laughs> That's all I got working for wiring, but you know, over time I'll get this all done.